Let's take a tour of the eligibility framework of the Social Benefits Playbook. This innovation enables process owners and admins to define and manage the rules driving benefit determination and calculation. From the left pane of the configurable workspace, a process owner or admin can access Policy Home to get started. On the left, you can see that multiple lists are shown. Let's go through the key items to know. Policies, the first shown, enables an admin to view, update, and create new policies. In PSDS, policies are the eligibility criteria managed by a government agency. Think of policies as a set of predefined rules and logic to determine whether a constituent will receive benefits or not. The next list to highlight is templates. With templates, admins can predefine logic and data sources that are commonly used across policies, and then use this pattern to quick start policy creation. The next list to highlight is mappings. This list enables an admin to map policies to specific product models, such as nutrition assistance, housing assistance, or unemployment. Next is invocations. Invocations represent a call to pace to evaluate a specific benefit type, also known as a product model. Last, let's take a look at variable definition. Under this section, there are two lists to highlight, API variables and config parameters. With API variables, an admin can create a case API variable. When creating new policy, the admin will use the case variable to reference fields in the case. With config parameters, an admin can set multiple thresholds for a singular policy. As an example, an admin could set a threshold of 2,500 as the gross income for one benefit type and 5,000 for another benefit type. This is how config parameters enables an admin to reuse policies and apply them to multiple benefits. Now we'll start diving deeper into policies. Let's start with a tour of the policy interface. The first tab shown houses policy details. By clicking on a policy, the administrator can view details of the policy such as policy name, category, date, and description. The next tab within a policy is Policy Builder. This is where a policy author can make changes to the policy logic and switch between versions and take various actions at the version level. The next tab is Version Management. From here, an admin can manage the different versions of a policy. Next is Mappings. This tab enables you to view and define the benefit to which the policy must be mapped. Finally, we have Execution. This enables the admin to review the execution activity for the given policy. Now let's take a look at how one might update a policy. Let's imagine that a new national mandate has increased the threshold income level for nutrition assistance programs. To comply with this mandate, an admin needs to update the gross income in the engine to ensure the adherence with the latest rules. First, the admin selects Policy Builder and then creates a draft copy as published policy cannot be changed. From here, a new draft gets created. Next, the admin updates the value in the Condition Builder with the latest total gross income. With this draft, the admin can test the potential policy before putting it into production. To start the test, the admin goes to the test playground by selecting the upper right icon from the contextual side panel then selects the parameters and then runs the test. This test playground is helpful for a couple of different reasons. First, it helps reduce the likelihood of introducing unexpected issues to the agent constituent experiences. Second, it helps admins train new staff on the system without impacting the end user experience. Now, let's wrap up this update. Once an admin is ready to put the policy into production, she can select Publish. The old version is now archived and the newly published version becomes the current production version. From end to end, an admin can update a policy without needing to write a single line of code. Now let's see how agencies can embed eligibility engine outputs directly into the workflow. When it is time to render an eligibility determination, a case agent has the ability to review all the policies that have been met and use this information to determine eligibility. This agent can also view a benefit summary, which helps them identify how much the constituent is owed and for how long. So this is how the Social Benefits Eligibility Framework from the Q2 Washington DC store release of PSDS helps agencies design, deploy, and maintain eligibility systems.